Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for Detour 35, and this is 911 Operator. This is a, a pretty small indie game that uh, was released in the beginning of last year, 2017. Um, it was developed by Jutsu Games and published by Playway SA and it is a pretty pretty fun game uh, although it has some flaws that I wish will be addressed in the future uh, I'm hoping so basically you have a city and you have a map of that city and it uh, can be uh, uh, there are a lot of cities supported. Uh, here we have a Swedish city that is uh, nearby where I live. And it's not the city I live in. But, um, and it is an accurate representation of that city. Because I work there. And you run the... Uh, emergency services there. Now, ironically, the emergency service number in Sweden is not 911. Uh, but regardless, you have a an array of vehicles, and you have a set of vehicles that you start with, and then you can buy additional ones as you earn money after completing duties, as it's called, which is a session basically and you can see I've done five so far I think I've done five uh, unless this is my fifth um, and you buy uh, staff which are your firefighters your policemen and your uh, medics and you will need to man the vehicles of course certain vehicles have a different amount of slots for people and then you can also buy equipment for them like uh, weapons armor uh, medical equipment firefighting equipment and other similar stuff um, and each uh, staff member can ha have two pieces of equipment and we probably want to make sure that uh, some of the Okay, now you're equipped. Uh, I don't really have anything. Maybe buy a fire suit for you. We're going to need to hire another firefighter to man this other vehicle. Uh, so we're going to have to recruit, recruit you because you have high driving skill. Oh, we had one. You actually have a higher driving skill but you're useful anyway we're going to put you in the vehicle with the ladder and then we are going to make sure that uh, you're equipped I haven't used fire suits before probably a good idea to have them I expect that they prevent fire damage yeah Put those on um, technical tools. Probably get a couple of those for each firefighter vehicle. And we can also get a defibrillator. You have one of those already, but you do not. Uh, and then probably want another police officer as well. You have a driving of 50. 70. We're going to move you and we're going to recruit you. Put you in the driver's seat there. And then we can give you a rifle and a terminal uh, 
yeah. And then we have you. An empty vehicle, I just, another empty vehicle, I just noticed. Uh, driving a 52. The driving affects the speed that they traverse. Uh, so let's put you there. You have a pretty good balance between um, your medic skill and uh, driving. So that's preferable. We'll give you a first aid kit and then I guess we'll buy you uh, a defibrillator. Maybe some technical tools, just in case. Uh, and I'll explain more what the different tools do as we see what the team members need to deal with. Okay, so that should do. Now, yeah. Would prefer to have two people in this, but I don't want to spend much more money than this. So let's start the deployment. Let's we'll start the duty. So we'll pause here. So the things that happen is that we have our vehicles. They have different starting points. Uh, there's a fire station here. There's a hospital here, which is accurate uh, to the actual city. And then there's a police station here somewhere. And uh, incidents will appear like this one there's a loud party and we can ignore it or we can as you can see we need to send a police vehicle there and then we also have a call or had i might have accidentally dismissed that uh loud party should not require a police car i don't think um so one thing you want to do is you want to spread your vehicles out a bit. Um, we'll send a fire truck down here. And um, you can start the game going again. Uh, can I? I don't seem to be able to get that call back, which means I'm going to fail that because I'll have been I'll have ignored it, which is quite unfortunate. Now, one of my complaints about this game is the lack in controls. And what I mean by that is that the uh, a game like this where you have units like this, I would expect the number keys to do something, but they don't. Uh, I would love to be able to select my units with the number keys and just have the, because they have numbers assigned to them but it doesn't work like that. The number keys do nothing. Uh, space, I would want to pause and unpause the game. Or the number keys could also have controlled the speed, but they don't do that e either. Uh, there are no control settings at all. Uh, it's also quite unfortunate. So you can't at least I don't think you can rebind anything. Uh, you can access the settings menu from here. You have to quit the uh, duty to do that. So yeah, the the game is uh, wrought with issues that I wish would not be there, but. It is pretty enjoyable anyway, because the game itself is interesting. So now we have uh, personnel on site for this, and we can see a little bit what's going on here. So we pause again. 
Um, you can see that we have a number of people involved, and they all they are all marked with sus or as suspects in this case. So they are presumably the people that are being allowed, and the uh, officer I sent is going to have to process all of them. Uh, in this case, find them. Uh, and we're going to send another car there just in case they get violent because sometimes they will attack the officer and also because two or um, three people will oh right no I was confused okay so we have a new incident up here and then we have a call now calls you have to take care of yourself they're actually somebody calling into the um, emergency services and you're going to have to handle the call similar to how an actual call would go so let's do this 911 what's your emergency hello my stomach hurts really bad what's your address sir All right, does anything else hurt? I have a terrible headache. Sir, have you drank alcohol lately? Well, I went to a party last night and maybe I drink a bit too much. Okay, I'll send the ambulance. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll wait for them to get here. Bye. Uh, Okay, so l let's pause again, um, or maybe it automatically it automatically paused when the call was over. So uh, we had an incident revealed to us by the call here when I asked for the address, and you want to do that as quickly as possible. Uh, get the address so you can send the appropriate vehicle there. Um, sometimes the uh, the calls are a bit trickier than this. Sometimes you have to figure out what is going on. Sometimes it's someone someone being attacked. Sometimes it's a uh, vehicle that is parked illegally. Uh, th things like that. It varies. There are a few different ones. Um, and But you pretty much always want to find out where it is first and then find out what is going on and adjust to or adapt to that as the call is going on uh, but you always want to send somebody there now some tasks can be done by any personnel any staff but some some things like finding like what's going on here can only be done by police officers uh, fighting fires are uh, firefighters are obviously best suited for that and anyone else will do a very poor job of trying to do it but they will try um, and then you have clearing obstacles also done most efficiently by firefighters but others will try to do it uh, and then you have combat where people are attacking um, or firefight has broken out and then of course well-equipped police officers are more most efficient at doing that um, so we got an another incident here and we have a car that has driven through a red light so this will be moving so it's it's basically a car chase uh, fortunately it was in here sometimes these will appear out here and that's a bit more annoying but I diverted the car when I'm actually oh well this should be done pretty quickly. 41 seconds for that. Um, uh, I'm actually going to send this car down here to assist with this instead of this one. Uh, probably should have done done it the other way around. Sent this one down. Had that one continue down here and this one take care of that. This uh, ambulance bike with the single person on it should be enough to take care of that. 
you'll notice that some vehicles have these little squares on top. That means that they can carry other people. So the ambulances, of course, have them. And the police vehicles have them for when they make arrests. And the ambulances are for when people need to go to the hospital. Uh, the motorbike cannot carry any um, sick people. So for this incident, should not be, um, it should not be necessary. But sometimes you need you have an incident where people will have been hurt and need to be taken to the hospital and then you need to make sure to send an ambulance uh, you can always adjust afterwards once you have sent a vehicle to a site that is not the be all end all as soon as or as long as you have at least one personnel with one vehicle at the site you can send more and then as when they arrive you can switch them out at and take the the person who was originally there somewhere else where they are needed um, so I'm going to send uh, this unit uh, which is this one and it, it has one additional police officer uh, who's going to assist with this and then if I wanted to I could take this um, motorbike person uh, away to do something else uh, if I needed to, for example, if a, a car chase appeared here. So now we have a drunk driver. It's another chase. And I, I usually tend to play at this speed uh, because switching is a bit annoying. But if I had if I had proper keyboard bindings, I would uh, switch a lot more between these two speeds. So here you can see that both people are assisting with this, and they're actually making an arrest this time, as indicated by this icon there, uh, which means that they will arrest this person and they will take him back to the police station. And of course, uh, you can that doesn't mean this vehicle is disabled you can it will automatically go back try to go back to the police station but if you need to you can divert it to another incident uh, but of course if if there needs to be another arrest it will take up a slot if there needs to be two more arrests it could only carry one of the people which means that you would be in trouble if that was the only vehicle on site because you need then you need to get someone else there to to keep an eye on the remaining person uh, or another police vehicle that can take them to the police station and it's it's, it's a bit of a stra it's kind of a strategy game in that you need to plan things out and uh, respond to events uh, in a tactical manner so we're going to have a person arriving here. This one has been resolved. Let's move on to this one. And now this one can, this uh, officer can process one additional person. Uh, I am actually going to send this vehicle down here to speed this up because there are a lot of people that need to be processed. You can of course ignore, uh, sometimes you actually need to ignore an event uh, or a call because there are sometimes crank calls or sometimes calls that are uh, not actual incidents that you need to uh, get you need to figure out that they are not relevant as quickly as possible so now we have a new incident which is a, a one that has uh, Let's see, so we have a rape, so we need both a medical vehicle and a police vehicle. The medical vehicle to take care of the woman, of course, and then a police vehicle to arrest the suspect. So because there's going to be an arrest, I'm going to send one of the uh, police cars. Otherwise, I would send the bike, probably. You can probably 
go down here. And you can't you can't ignore. If you press ignore, it will remove the incident. Uh, but you will and you you will be penalized for that uh, if you ignore them uh, when the. Are there any injuries? No, no one. When did it happen? Five minutes ago. Do you know who caused the accident? The other driver. He's obviously drunk. Are any of the vehicles blocking traffic? Yes, one of them can't be moved. All right, sir. Please wait for the emergency services to arrive. Okay. Okay, so now we have multiple things happening at once. So we had an incident up here that consists of a uh, a collision. We have no injuries, so we don't need to send any medical vehicles. But we do have a vehicle that can't be moved, which is an obstacle. We need to be handled by a um, firefighter or firefighters. Uh, and then we probably also need to send a, we might need to send a police vehicle there as well. Um, and then we also had an incident here, which is a building on fire. So we need to send firefighters, obviously, and then medical personnel to assist with injuries. So we're going to do both of those things. Um, I might want to take one of these cars oh well it seems that the rapist is attacking the police officers which is annoying fortunately they have one of them have armor and uh, a rifle and there's medical personnel on site already so they should be able to take care of that looks like he has a knife. I managed to take him down without injuring him which is pretty amazing because usually they will have to injure the suspect to actually take them down. This should be done relatively soon. Uh, we can actually take the bike send up here. It's the vehicle is handling the, the or the the car is handling the last suspect and then that can go back to patrolling Okay, so now the injured person is being taken to the hospital and the uh, fire truck will arrive to take care of the fire. Oh, apparently you didn't, hadn't quite finished that one. But that's fine. Alright. So you can go back to. We're going to put you on patrol over here. Alright. We'll be over here. Move an ambulance back over here. Put one over here. Now we have firefighters taking care of this fire here. Oh, we have a new incident over here. So just send an ambulance and a police vehicle. We have a pedestrian pedestrian that's been hit by a car. Now we have uh, things happening over here. 
Uh, so the the obstacle blocks access to the people. So sometimes you need to clear out an obstacle first before you can access the people. Uh, sometimes it's not blocking. I don't think it's blocking in this case. Um, even though it's last. Uh, but as you can see, we need a police officer to take care of these. So we have a police icon here. And the police officer could take care of the obstacle as, of, as well, but it would take a lot longer. Um, fires are a bit special because they, um, if they aren't taken care of, you can ignore them, but they will grow, which makes sense. That's how fires work. And sometimes the amount of people you have at the site might not be enough to actually suppress the fire properly, and it might grow instead, uh, although at a slower rate. So you might need to send multiple vehicles to take care of a fire if the uh, the one you have is insufficient. You've been hurt. If you are injured, uh, the officers are trying to deal with that, but of course the ambulance is going to be more efficient, uh, better at it. Fortunately, it's pretty close, and I think the the officer is helping though. Um, it at least keeps tries to keep it from getting worse. You were hurt. That means he's going to be unavailable in the next uh, duty. Unfortunately, uh, we have. Three minutes and 47 seconds, although that's at this speed left uh, on the duty. When this fills up, that means the session is over. 911, what's your emergency? Papa, there's a bat in my apartment. What's your address? Ma'am, you can help yourself here. Just open a window wide and turn off the lights. Before you know it, the battle will be gone. No way am I coming out of here. You have to. I'm not going to send an officer over there. Your life's not in danger. It's not even an emergency. It's a bat in your house. <laughs> Please. You can do it, ma'am. Just, just be careful, okay? Okay, I'll send somebody to help. Just stay there, please. Hurry! Yeah. So I have a vehicle to spare, so I can send someone to deal with that. You can reclaim you. We'll have you come down here. Waiting for order. Understood. Understood. Um. Person found unconscious. All right. Just an ambulance to deal with that should be fine. Uh, you can come up to about here. Uh, but yeah, when the when the duty is over, we'll get a summary. We will get a list of all of the incidents. See how we dealt with them, if we did it properly or improperly, which ones we ignored, we get a, um, and we, we get to see how much money we earned, and then we get brought back to the um, outfitting screen where we can uh, prepare for the next duty. And there are vehicles such as helicopters, which you can purchase for a large amount of money that will, they will of course be a lot faster getting to incidents uh, because they can fly there, obviously. 
Uh, and I'm looking forward to when I'll be able to afford one of those, because that's going to be fun. And I don't know if... Well, that was nice and close. Technical job, it's fallen tree. Uh, hmm. I, I guess I should try to finish the duty. Because... Uh, so we get to see the end screen. Oh. Um. Hmm. Waiting for orders. Heading over there. I'm listening. Heading over there. I think this is a little more important. I'm listening. Understood. I'm listening. This doesn't go away, so. We can send this ambulance there instead. Just have something. I would have liked to have the motorbike down there, but oh well. It's up here dealing with this stuff. It's too far away. They're actually speeding away. Okay, let's do that instead. We'll have this one intercept this speeder here. To here. Fire truck dealt with the tree. And then it's good we brought the ambulance back because it need, it's needed over here. Another unconscious person. Looks like we have a serial unconscioner going around. That's not a word. Obviously. Um, let's see. So you're dealing with the bat again. Be over pretty quickly. Uh, whoops. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello? Is anyone there? Looks like we got an accidental dial. Okay, so we can safely ignore that one. Alright. You can come back up there, you can go there. I'll have this taken care of. Oh, hello. Sent someone after you. Were you? Red light offense. Right. Pretty simple. Gunshot wound. Send the police bike because it'll get there first. Uh, we'll probably need an ambulance for this one. So we'll have to send one of those up as well. 911, what's your emergency? My car was stolen! When was your car stolen? I just saw my car is gone, but I have no idea when exactly that happened. Where did this happen? In front of a shopping mall. What's the address of where this happened, sir? It happened at... That was nice and close. Sir, are you sure you didn't park your car in you know, no parking zone, or somebody's driveway, or maybe a bus stop? Mm, I was. Damn it. There is no parking sign. I just realized that. Sorry. 
how can I get my car back? Your car was towed to the police impound yard. Just call the police at their non-emergency number and they'll help you out. Thank you. Goodbye. 113 Lieutenant, I'm just heading up. I'm listening. Right. Yeah. I can ignore that one. Heading over there. No need to handle that. Uh, needs med transport as you can see it says there so we needed the ambulance for that we don't need the police vehicle should be almost done with the okay yeah there we go we're done with the duty uh, apparently I treated this one wrong okay it wasn't needed so I could have ignored that one uh, but all the other ones you can see I resolved or ignored correctly um, and we can see that we had a total profit of thirty seven thousand dollars at a couple of promotions uh, someone was injured. I don't see that here. Uh, nobody died, which is nice. And then we get back to here. And we'll probably have... We have a firefighter back. So we'll put you in there. We have a police officer available put them back so yeah this this game is fun uh, it's an interesting game for sure and if it looked like it was interesting to you I would recommend that you get it um, like I said it does have some problems like the complete lack of key bindings mostly uh, pressing space does something it toggles the icons uh, that tell you what a vehicle is doing on its uh, portrait uh, but that's not particularly useful I would have rather it um, pause the game or something or that it, that they were bi rebindable so but yeah it's still a very interesting game uh, we can have a look at the vehicles here you can see that the helicopter costs a lot of money that yeah three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a police helicopter and there is a uh, me medical helicopter and a fire fighting helicopter as well but yeah I'm going to end the video here and I'll see you in the next one